And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. And a good Friday morning, everybody. Troy Mulling here from the Storm Team 3 Weather Center. Happy Friday to you. And we've got some clear skies, cool conditions this morning. Those clouds are uh, thinning out as of right now. And there's uh, quite a bit of rain off toward the south. Different story for them. That massive system continuing to push in from the Gulf. Otherwise, the closest system to us, well out toward the west. So we're looking pretty good as far as rain goes, at least for the next day or so. We're going to track it here coming up, though. But currently in Kirksville, 35 degrees, clear skies, calm winds. In Ottumwa, we are a, a degree cooler than last half hour, 31 clear skies and calm winds. So right below that freezing mark. Some other temperatures across the region, 37 in Fort Madison, 35 in Cantrell, 30 in Fairfield, 36 right now in Macon. Good morning to you, but this is what we're looking at. The big weather story the whole country is talking about is that flooding. They've got flash flood watches and warnings extending from New Orleans through uh, western parts of Tennessee. And you've probably seen the video of all that horrible flooding. Well, Mississippi and parts of Louisiana will continue to get additional rainfall through the weekend and they really don't need it. So how is that going to affect us? Well, we've got a beautiful day for today. Then I do expect an increase in clouds heading into tonight, then rain by early tomorrow morning, and that's going to be lasting into the day on Sunday. As far as totals, nothing like what they're seeing down south, but wouldn't surprise me if we see maybe about a quarter of an inch until we get to the end of the day on Saturday, then heading into Sunday, maybe add another uh, quarter of an inch or so onto that. So I think by the end of the day on Sunday, anywhere from about a quarter to half to three quarters of an inch across the region is what we're looking at right now. But as we plan out our day today, sunny for this morning, even into the afternoon, still feels great, 65 for the high temperature. There's the southeast winds about five to 10 miles an hour. Those clouds increase tonight. We'll give it low 50s by 8 o'clock tonight. Overnight lows down into the 40s for this evening, 45 degrees. So 61 on your Saturday, and uh, there's the chance of rain at 60%. We'll uh, have the daylight saving time on Saturday night, so make sure you set those clocks ahead one hour before going to bed. And then 67 on Sunday. And uh, 70 by Monday will dry out and into the upper 60s on Tuesday with another chance of showers. Then we'll be into the 50s for highs later on next week with those overnight lows into the 40s and 50s for the next several evenings. I know that it's officially not spring yet, not but quite. the last couple of days it felt like it mm -hmm. with the temperatures. And now my heart is a little crushed when you said that we might see highs in the 50s because I, I have a feeling it might get even lower than that but let's hope not right but, well as of right now it's looking like 50s only but we'll, okay. of course we'll keep you updated with all the changes. right thanks for that so thanks. coming up next is tech bites